Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the folder feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next, under the edit, test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the folder feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search folder. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you add it to Future, you will see the Future listed in my Future section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the Future and you will have options to show Hide the Future, Edit and Customize the Future, Delete the Future, and Move the Future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added Folder Future. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the Future. This is your Future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the Future icon. If you want, you can select a solid or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon image. Now to add the features under this folder, click on the add future button. Here you will find two options, example, add new future and move future from editor. With these, with these options, you can add and move features to this folder. Click on the add new future button, then select the future from the right side pane to add the future to this folder. Once you add it to Future, you will see it in the folder here. Now hover over the added features inside the folder to show Hide the Future, Edit and Customize the Future, Delete the Future, Organize the Future, Move the Future to another folder, or Move the Future back to the Home section. Similarly, you can move the already added Future in the Editor section to the folder. Click on Move Future from Editor, then select the Future, and here you will see the Future that has been moved. You can also add multiple folder folders inside the folder by clicking on this folder icon here. Further, you can add features and add new folders inside the added folder as well. Now that we are done with the content section, let's move to the design section. Click on this color pattern icon to change the feature style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image from the future background. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the options and configure the layout settings as per your needs. From here, you can select the color and font sizes. Now, let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done with the changes, all the edits and changes will be saved automatically. However, you can also save them manually by clicking this button here. Now click on the publish button to see the reflection of your latest update on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.